I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with the Summit Racing uh, HEI Advanced Kit. I don't feel I gave it a fair shot and uh, I came out again this morning. And what I did is I started um, playing with a combination of the HEI Center Football and my stock advanced weights. Um, the weights, uh, the stock weights are much heavier, which allowed them to um, move that center football earlier, which is typically a good thing. Um, but I'll show you here. This is a Summit Racing center football that I have in there now. And this is the stock center football. And you can see that the, um, the profile, the width, if you will, of the two pieces is quite a bit different and it's that um it's this area right here that changes the profile of the advanced curve and when i uh, custom tune distributors uh, heis that's where i'm spending my time but i want to do again give it a fair shot and i have not been able to come up with what i consider to be a an acceptable curve. I have tried H, um, Summit Racing springs that they include. I've tried um, aftermarket springs for point style um, distributors and I'm not getting the type of curve that I want. And what I'll do here is I'll show you where this is set up. So we're gonna turn this distributor on. <clears throat> we got it dialed in at zero. You can see up here on the tachometer, I'm going to, I'm going to pull that up to about a little under 800 RPM. And as I pull that up to 800 RPM, uh, I'm already getting four degrees advance. So that's telling me that at idle, I'm going to be pulling into my advance curve, which is not ideal. And if I back it down to, let's say, 600, you can see that that did not move. I still have advance in this distributor, so that's not ideal. But I'm going to go ahead and crank this up and see where we get our full advance in at. Right about there. So we're about 3,600 RPM on the tachometer, and we've got 22 degrees of advance out of the distributor. One of the interesting things though, and the problems that I have with HEIs, is that when I back this thing back down to 700 RPM, you can see that I'm still at six degrees advance. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing off. And let me refocus this here. And as I shut it off, these weights never returned to their closed position. Now what I'd like you to focus on is this tab here, which is where the rotor mounts and the weights. And I'm going to try to get around here. Excuse me just a little bit. And I'm going to try and watch this tab as I push these weights back. That tab moved and that's that advance. So these springs, I put lighter spring, I put a combination of a heavy spring and a light spring to try to get this distributor to get my curve in quick enough. And I was not successful, but what it also did, it did not pull the, the, um, the weights back in to remove the advance out of the, out of the distributor. And what you'll see is when these weights come out, this right here is what's moving. And that's where you're getting your advance. You see that movement there? That's where your advance is coming in as those weights come out. Um, but like I said, when they don't return and then you're getting that additional movement, that's where, um, that's the failure of these systems. And that's where when I do a distributor, I modify the center football and verify it on the machine. And that's where you're getting your performance out of it. Um, I will do another video that goes um, after I modify this distributor and get it dialed in where I like it. I'll do a video. I'll show you the center football 
and um, show you how it reacts to the machine. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, I'm back and I modified the center football of the uh, distributor and I've gotten the curve that I'm satisfied with. I'll take this off and show it to you. Um, but like I say, this is, you know, I could not get this curve by using the aftermarket parts that were available to me. So what I ended up doing was um, welding on the center football or center advance cam and then grinding and I probably had this thing on and off my distributor machine for uh, probably more than 15 or 20 times and um, to get it to the point where I where I'm satisfied with it and I will get this thing back on here and show you guys the curve that it is now producing Sorry about that. Let me redirect my camera here. All right, hopefully that will show you the distributor machine. So we have it zeroed out there. We are at around 600 RPM. So you can see that at about 800 RPM, we end up with two degrees advance. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back off to 600 RPM and you will see that it goes back down, which it wasn't doing before. So I'll go up a little bit more as if we were accelerating, backing off, and we have a pretty crisp response back down to zero on the advanced scale. So that's one advantage that we are getting to um, uh, modifying this center football on the distributor machine. Now we will take it slowly up to 2800 RPM, and you will see the advance on the machine advancing up to 20 degrees of mechanical, which is the second large line. We're at 18 there. Right there we hit 20, and we're just under 2,800 RPM. So, that's the advance that I'm looking for on an HEI distributor and um, this distributor is good to go. I'm gonna shut it down quick as if we let off the throttle. And it pretty quickly goes back to zero degrees. So I hope this helps you to understand the advantages of why curving a distributor has an impact on the performance of your vehicle. Um, if you are experiencing drivability or performance issues, um, I really implore you to uh, look at your distributor and consider um, rebuilding it to get the gum and gunk out of it and curving it to get the most performance out of it. Like I've said in my other videos, um, I frequently see people spend a lot of money on carburation, trying to get performance, overlooking distributor, and, um, you know, they're not getting the results that they're after. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, I'm going to be making another one shortly on installing a distributor into an engine. I know people have brought that question up before, so if that's something that interests you, um, check out my other videos, and I should be having that one posted shortly. Thank you. Bye-bye.